Hey, yo, what is up? 1.18.1 is coming on us soon. It is just around the corner and I have some updated news. Uh, the tank you are looking at right now, the M47M project, or maybe they renamed it to the M47 Improved has been added to the 1.18.1 files so it is already in the common test server the files are already in and they have made uh, some changes to the technical stats on the tank and we will go through it and talk about it uh, a little bit in this video well first of all you can see it's already in the game files uh, that means this tank is ready to go uh, it is a pretty good looking tank uh, it reminds me a lot of the uh, super uh, super pershing is that is that right in the tier 8 and uh, this is also a tier 8 tank uh, heavily armored it is actually an m48 pattern a tier 9 pattern but uh, they've put some copium armor around the turret and uh, this is of course um what armor do you call this again uh, spaced armor and uh, this is going to make the armor profile of the tank of course a lot better than your standard uh, medium tanks uh, one thing to note is it does look good it is kind of funky it looks kind of like um a post cold war uh, early nato tanks uh, it looks like you know tanks from the 50s or something like that that's been upgraded with modern armor modern capabilities the early days of nato i would say and it has that special nostalgic look about it i think it's going to be very appealing aesthetically wise i think a lot of people are going to want this tank uh, just because of the way it looks um and the way it reminds us of the 50s and 60s perhaps uh, but without further ado let's talk a little bit about the stats of this tank uh, in tier 8 uh, premium medium tanks one of the kings of all tanks is of course the cs52 that is going to be our benchmark also because uh, this thing shares the same alpha damage as a cs52 lis 320 alpha damage this thing fires standard ap shells and premium shells are going to be heat shells uh, the shell velocity is pretty good over a thousand uh, about 1080 meters per second on the uh, ap shells as well as the uh, premium heat shells uh, about 1100 meters per second this means shell velocity is pretty good uh, you're going to lead your shots without too much trouble a thousand meters per second is kind of like um, a pretty good uh, bench number a baseline number for uh, most tanks in tier 8 uh, premiums anyway um, what sets this apart from the cs52 uh, of course you know you can see it's going to be the armor it's going to be a little bit of the mobility it's going to be a little bit of a gun performance we'll talk about the gun penetration first um, the cs52 has 208 stock penetration and uh, it's not the greatest but 208 is pretty useful pretty doable especially if you're playing in frontline game modes where you're just going to be facing all tier 8 tanks uh, 208 penetration is more than good enough in the cs52 um, and if you're facing you know tier 9s or tier 10s in uh, random battles you can always dab the two key for premium shells uh, but the m47 improved is going to one up the cs52 in this department that's because you've got 230 penetration on stock uh, uh standard shells and uh, standard shells 230 penetration you know it's pretty devastating 230 penetration is really good um, the uh, premium penetration on the heat shells are 300 millimeters so 300 millimeters of penetration in tier 8 with heat shells and 1100 meters per second of uh, shell velocity with 320 alpha 
uh, that is pretty good um, but of course the story doesn't end there of course they are going to find a way to balance out this tank and make it uh, you know kind of fair to the other players they have nerfed the the dispersion I mean the dispersion was not good in the to begin with but what I'm saying is the dispersion is going to be the handicap of this tank the dispersion is 0.42 and uh, to give you a perspective of what 0.42 uh, dispersion is like 0.42 dispersion is the same equal dispersion of an IS-6 Soviet heavy tank so that tells you how poor the accuracy is going to be um, it's going to take a long time for you to accurately aim uh, in this gun 2.88 seconds of aim time the aim time is a longer than an IS-6 IS-6 aims at 2.68 seconds CS-52 aims in 2.21 seconds and 2.21 seconds is not fast at all even in the CS-52 you can feel it is a little bit slow to aim but 2.88 seconds is uh, it is going to make this gun challenging to hit um, even though uh, you get 320 alpha but 2.88 seconds is, is just a long time for 0.42 accuracy it's only redeeming quality here is the moving dispersion uh, this means uh, shooting on the move uh, is kind of okay it's better than a cs52 if you have to shoot on the move but remember this has 0.42 dispersion the base dispersion is pretty bad so even if you have a uh, pretty good moving dispersion of 0.12 uh, you still have pretty terrible uh, base dispersion to begin with um, compared to a cs52 which is 0.35 dispersion so even though you, the moving dispersion 0.12 is better than a CS52 which is 0.14 you have to remember the base dispersion is not great at all it's an IS-6 dispersion so um, you're still not going to make a lot of your shots that is on the move or you know when you're turn rotating your turret uh, your best bet or best accuracy scenario is when uh, you are going to uh, fire your gun uh, without moving your hull just moving your turret that is when you're gonna gonna get to your uh, best accuracy uh, the good thing about this tank is you have 10 degrees of a gun depression and uh, uh, this is a lot better than the cs52 which only gives you seven degrees of gun depression so 10 degrees you get to use a little bit of that armor and that armor is pretty good the turret armor is 330 millimeters frontally and it's kind of sloped so if you shoot the mantlet it's 343 around it and then if you try to shoot the side it is going to be an automatic definitely going to bounce around here but it looks like there is a little weak spot in the um commander's targeting hole here it says non-penetration but i swear to god it says there was a hit when i pointed it somewhere just now there there you go it says a hit there so i'm not too sure it says 198 millimeters here so maybe we'll experiment this when this tank comes out and uh, they'll let me try this out but on the roof you have 295 millimeters all around there is a small uh, area here that says 190 where was that place um 220 220 there was a mm, uh, I'm getting some weird readings here but I don't think this is all penetratable from frontally all the sides are going to be difficult here there is a 40 millimeters of penetration here maybe you can hit um, you know the these ports here vision ports maybe it's penetrable here it says 192 millimeters so it's possible 130 uh, 47 43 so this could be a weak spot this um, you know maybe from this angle if you're shooting from this angle you could possibly penetrate here 38 millimeters it says here and how about the cupola yes the cupola definitely penetrable 130 millimeters um you know any kind of 
standard ammo is going to be able to get you through you know 180 penetration will be able to get you through the coppola um, but the upper plate 262 and it is sloped are uh, going to be pretty difficult here uh, the lower plate lower hull is going to be 232 millimeters here you can see uh, and it's sloped so the your chances of penetrating it is going to be pretty difficult it is a heavily armored it's going to be a lot like the super purging in terms of frontal armor penetration it's going to be pretty hard even when you're uh, firing premium shells you know on the super purging you need to shoot that little hole there on the lower side of the mantle where you can shoot penetrate the turret but on the m47 improved it looks like you can penetrate uh this part here um the uh, the targeting i don't know this is could be some kind of targeting place 38 millimeters i see 46 38 here looks like you can penetrate that frontally another 38 millimeters here so it's gonna the armor profile frontally it's going to work a lot like the super purging you are going to be able to penetrate it um it, but if they are side scraping it's going to be difficult as well there are some spots here maybe the front wheel uh from if it's side scraping perhaps you can penetrate through the front wheels with 160 170 penetration some parts here uh, showing 105 millimeters of penetration could go through that so this could be a huge weak spot here the front wheel but the side skirts are going to be uh, pretty well armored 200 plus penetration but towards the back looks like 60 70 47 millimeters of penetration you could possibly penetrate uh, uh, the engine deck or um, the the uh, you know where the jockey wheels are it looks like you could be able to penetrate that if they were side scraping if they were if they were massively side scraping then it might be difficult to pen uh, the back side of the tank but there you go this is the m47 improved uh, looks like it's been renamed from m47 m project to m47 improved uh, this is the new profile of the tank uh, released into 1.18.1 it will be available as you know some kind of premium release some kind of mission tank who knows uh, at the moment uh, we don't know but one thing is for sure 1.18.1 it is already in the game files i'm looking forward to this tank uh, the accuracy i hope they buff it a little bit maybe give it 3.8 or 3.9 dispersion that would help it massively uh, but other than that pretty sexy looking pattern a lot of people are going to be interested in um, pattern tanks uh, as always it's pattern tanks have always been interesting and especially with the um um with the heat defeating uh, armor shield armor here it's going to be a pretty sexy looking and interesting tank hope you enjoyed this video and took some useful information about this new tank coming out with uh, 18 1.18.1 and i will see you on the next video bye bye